after understanding the calculus approach to optimization here we will learn about the matrix approach to optimization because the purpose is the same we want to optimize a certain variable either a favorable one or an unfavorable one the approach however will be different and in this case it is the matrix approach that will help us to get to the uh, maximum or the minimum so let's see what uh, tools we have specifically speaking it has a certain second order condition test which is known as hashian determinant test because it was forwarded by hashian uh, and so it's a hashian uh, contribution to the literature so it's represented by h um, determinant as you can see we have highlighted this and it is a determinant in which we have second order partial derivatives all of them because um, you know if we have two into two order in this there will be two second order direct partial derivatives and there will be two second order cross partial derivatives the first one will be the principal diagonal and the second one will be in the secondary diagonal this is something we will observe in the um, the structure of this hashian determinant so you can see that the uh, green uh, first uh, or the principal diagonal is containing the second order direct partial derivatives and the secondary diagonal has the second order cross partial derivatives in it and uh, from the point of view of the secondary diagonal these two values that is fxy and fyx they are equal under the umbrella of Young's theorem so this is the observation that we have but now we have principal minors that is there will be two minors minors by uh, its very meaning it means that it is a derivative of the overall thing something smaller than that or at least driv driven from certain uh, origin and in this case this is the origin and we can extract some uh, you know uh, components of it primarily we can start with the very first um, component which is on the left and then we can extend this to left and right and we will include the other part as well that is the second column and the second row so this is only the first column and first row but this is including the first uh, second row and second column so this is the h1 that is the first principal minor and this is h2 the second principal minor for a minimum both of the principal minors that is h1 and h2 they should be positive that is h1 should be positive as well as h2 should be positive it will signify a minimum and if uh, they have alternative signs that is one of them is pos negative and the other is positive it means that it is a maximum that we are uh, currently at so we are going to do some numerical in order to be sure if we have understood the methodology this is uh, a function in terms of x and y and here you can see it's a, a quadratic function and we firstly calculate fx so to be able to find fxx and to be able to find fxy they are easily calculatable this is a small diy i hope you can do this second order differentiation as well and then we have fy and this would be fyy and this would be fyx so these simple calculations is a small do it yourself for you you can do this but you know that these are the values that i need for the hessian determinant so in the next step i am going to put these values here you observe that uh, the uh, general formula of the hessian determinant is written and we have uh, substituted the values here that we just found with the help of uh, finding the first order derivative and the second order derivative h1 would be the first element and then there will be inclusion of the other rows and columns so h1 is uh, 6 which is a positive value and h2 is the extension to the whole determinant and putting these values we get the answer which is 23 which is a positive value
so both of them that is h1 and h2 are positive so there is a, a minimum at this point now this is extendable to any number of uh, independent variables for example if this is the uh, current situation in which we did the um, optimization by using the hessian determinant it can be another situation where there are three independent variables that is x1 x2 and x3 in that case there will be a, a determinant of three into three order and you can see f11 f2 f12 and f13 then f11 and then f21 and then f31 we know how to construct a determinant with uh, three um, with independent variables and again the criterion will be the same if there are alternative signs then there will be a maximum and with positive signs there will be a minimum so we can deal with any n number of the independent variables uh, by finding the hessian determinant here however there is one uh, rehearsal question that you can do after pausing the video this is a rehearsal question and you can do it this question and this is how we apply the hessian determinant to any second order um, situation where we are trying to be sure if we are at a maximum or at a minimum this is the matrix approach to optimization in addition to the calculus approach that we have already understood thank you